Oh my goodness. We got warmth. We got sun. What? It's going to be short lived, but I'll take it while it lasts. Hi, if you're new here, my name's Erin. I vlog while I run. I run. I'm currently training for my first full marathon. Today we have a quick three mile recovery run. Yesterday we did eight miles. It was a bit of a struggle. <laughs> In this video, I specifically want to talk about how to start running when you're overweight. But first, running outfit of the day. Oh, my legs are still tired from yesterday's run. Like I never stopped running or something. But today's supposed to be a recovery run. Nice and steady. So here we are. And this is a great time to segue into talking about how to get started running when you're overweight. If you're overweight. As a lot of you know, I have three kids and I gained quite a bit of weight with each pregnancy. Granted, I had 10 pound babies. That's 10 pounds. Where's the other weight coming from, you know? I know fluid and all that, but after all was said and done, I was still overweight. There's that stop sign you see right there, which when I started running last fall, I could barely make it to that stop sign, which is half a mile from my house. Geez, even now I'm struggling. So at the beginning of my running like an idiot playlist, you can see my very first run after having my last baby, Indy. And I'll insert a picture here if I have it, so you can just see my size. And I'm pretty sure even my BMI now, I might be considered overweight. I'm not really sure. But one thing that kept me from wanting to start running, and I know something that keeps you guys from starting is, what will other people think? I don't want to look like this person, you know, feeling huge, struggling along. I just want to share with you the mentality that I adopted to get over that and start. So this is how I broke it down when I was worried about what people would think or how embarrassed I would be of what I looked like. 90% of people are probably going to see you and cheer you on in their head like, wow, look at them, you know? Kicking ass. There's gonna be another 9% of people won't even notice you in their own world or just don't care. I like those people. There might be that 1% that's in a real crap point in their life, full of negativity, and they might look at you and be like, ew, or why are they even trying? So those are the things that we're most scared of, other people are gonna say. My question for you is, Think of those 99% of people. Do you really care what that miserable, a-hole, possibly 1% of people, probably not even, it's probably a fraction of a percent, are gonna think something negative? Joke's on them. You're the one bettering yourself and they're the one being pushed further into the ground. Let me know in the comments other things besides health-related issues because I'm not a doctor <laughs> that would be holding you back just mentally. Maybe you don't have the right clothes. Um, do you see this? Now I never got to the distance that I'm at now after my first two pregnancies and that's only because I didn't have the coach, any coach, but I didn't have the coach that I have now, Alicia. She would not hear any of that. <laughs> and she's had her own struggles in life. She's not, hasn't been sailing through life all fit and trim and perfect looking. She hasn't had it easy. So I trust her when she's pushing me to overcome something like that. So I'm gonna kick it over to her and share something like a practical from a running coach tip that you guys would need to get started, especially if you're overweight. So I reminded me to answer the question for you guys. What's some advice that you have for someone who is new to running, but also wanting to use running as a tool for weight loss. How does that person get started? I'd say the two best piece of advice that I could give you, one is to give yourself some grace, right? You're a beginner runner, but you're not just that. You're literally creating version two of yourself. You're creating a new identity and that takes time. So give yourself some grace to be a beginner 
and enjoy that stage of the game. Every single time you go out for a run, you have the potential to hit a new milestone. You have the potential to have a new experience, see something differently for the first time in your life. Maybe it's something that you've driven by your entire life, but it's the first time you run by it and you just look at it a little bit differently. Those are experiences that you get one time and instead of losing touch with that and trying to you know, worry about the next step and the next step and the next step, you know, enjoy the step and the stage that you're in and enjoy your start line. That's a story that you get to share with people for the rest of your life. My second piece of advice is that all runs look a little bit differently from one another. So let's say you go out for a run and you run for 10 minutes for the first time in your life, or you run with a little bit more intensity or a little bit more ease. When you go out the next day and you run and it's hard, you got to remember that not every single day is going to be easy and that you're going to have to progress anyways. You're going to have to stay consistent and keep pushing forward. Even the most experienced runners go out and they have days that feel effortless and they crush a new milestone. And they go out the next day and they run three minutes slower per mile pace and it's the hardest thing in the entire world, but they push on anyways. So as someone who's new to running, someone who's also using running as a tool for weight loss, to kind of wrap this up is to remember that your start line is yours to own, to go out there Tow that start line and start getting after it by being consistent and chipping away at the bigger picture one day, one run at a time. One more quick piece of tactical advice. You're going to want to make sure that you go to a running shoe store and what they'll do is look at how your weight's distributed across your feet. Look to see if you have high or low arches, if you pronate, and they'll make sure that you're fitted in sneakers that will support you every step of the run and then you'll want to keep up with replacing them every few months depending on how much you're running tree tunnel vibes for me tree tunnel vibes for you i am sweating i hope you enjoy those vibes there it is without my face pretty soon that's all gonna be covered and then it's gonna be a double tree tunnel get ready folks Alicia has all the practical coaching advice, and I have all the been there, felt that, solidarity, togetherness advice. And there's more of that to come, because there's more struggles to be had. Look at these new flowers. Oh, so precious. It's always important to ask your doctor before starting anything new workout-wise. Running, especially if you're even a little bit overweight, comes with even more aches and pains and soreness. And you're wondering, did I injure myself or did I? am I just really that sore? I feel ya. I was, did not do the right thing. I, I ran a mile every day for 30 days just for a challenge on my, on this channel. That is not recommended. It's good to have a rest day or two in between. Now I know that I didn't then, but it did get my ass in gear. I just kept going from there. I just don't want anyone to keep themselves from doing something life changing because of what they think others might think or other trivial things like workout clothes and not having anyone to work out with. Film yourself, send it to me. Watch me while you run. I'm always here struggling for you. And don't get dis discouraged. You're watching me struggle through eight miles sometimes. Well, if you've been here long enough, you know, I could have run half a mile. I was miserable, I hated it. But it was something really important to me. I wanted to get healthy. And that was my momentum to get going. I was just so sick of myself. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, staying home if you can. And for those of you that are essential, thank you. I'm sure it's not fun, but you are appreciated. I'm gonna do a quick cool down walk. Ooh, my muscles are sore. You really feel it when you start walking. But I just wanted to finish this up by saying that I am filming this during a 
you know, during stay-at-home orders throughout the country. I know people can't, not everyone can get out. You might be in an apartment in a crowded city. The gyms are closed, but eventually this will end. We will be allowed outdoors in most likely nice weather. And if you're like me, it takes you a while to build up the motivation to do something. What I do is I watch a lot of motivating videos, podcasts, whatever it is. Like if I want to learn something new, like I'll just absorb all the content I can about learning that thing. Or pretty soon it's going to be gardening because we just built raised beds in our backyard, which I will share with you guys. But if running is something that you think you might want to get started with, I hope this is just one of many videos that you can put in your little motivational arsenal. So be sure to like this video. It really supports my ego and my channel. Your comments are my accountability and be sure to subscribe to struggle along on this marathon training and life because let's be honest, especially now, life is one big struggle. So let's do it together. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.